In this video, I'm going to be covering one of the best complementary formations, in my opinion, in Madden 23. You could run this as an entire scheme, and we do have um, an ebook explaining how to utilize Gun Titan at a really high level. But I think this is really an incredible complementary formation to any kind of primary formation, whether that be bunch, trips, you trip, doesn't matter to me. Um, tight is so powerful when it's mixed with other uh, formations. And the reason why is because it has the ability to quick snap plays. So they were me covering PA slot cross and um, out of the gun tight. You can find this in Washington and Detroit. I've got a full ebook on Washington teaching this play. If you guys want to check that out, the link is in the description below. And the Washington ebook does include our bunch and our, um, I think it's the bunch open tight end, I believe. So if you want to check that out again, everything is in the Patreon. The other cool part about Detroit, which is a playbook that I'm in today, is Detroit actually has one other play that I think is super underrated. Actually, it has a couple, but the, the one that it has that I think is super underrated is PA slot options. This has a cover three bomb in it. Um, so this play is really, really good as well. It also has drive corner, a great play for cover four, um, but it also has PA slot cross. Now, um, Detroit, what I like about Detroit is the fact that we have trips tied in, bunch tied in, and bunch. So we can mix in um, a ton of my trips tied in stuff, which I've been releasing all year as well. We got a full ebook on that. We, our first ebook of the year was actually Detroit trips tied in, and then we went and covered New England's trips tied in. And uh, I just find myself coming back to this Detroit Lions playbook because there's so many things you can do um, within it, especially now that we have Hot Route Master. There's a lot of var variables as well with that. So anyways, uh, PE Slot Cross is the play we're going to be going over today. I would generally say that I think this play works really well if you audible to it and quick snap it from Bunch or Trips um, or Bunch Tight End because, um, you know, again, defense is... It, it takes time to set up, right? And when you audible from one formation to another formation, it doesn't give them necessarily time to think about what you're going to do. So, for example, if I'm in trip side in and I audible to PA slot cross, you might think I'm going to bunch. Like, they might think that you're going to bunch. I'm just going to put a corner route to that left side guy, snap the ball, and what you're going to see is that this tight end streak is really glitchy. Sometimes this tight end streak will just be open. Okay, sometimes it will literally just be wide open. The other thing, though, that you have in this is this outside, uh, this deep corner to Mike Evans. So if they're pressing you, um, you'll see that this deep corner route to Mike Evans, what you're going to do is you're just going to high ball and kind of pass lead it over the top of the guy. And as you can see, this is wide open over the top. Now, again, the, the beauty of this play is that we can it's a quick snap play, but we can audible into it, and they're not going to know if we're going to bunch or trips. So with one hot route, I'm literally just spamming the X button, trying to hike the ball as fast as possible, and then I'm making a read real quick, right? I want to be very decisive with this play, and this play can attack literally every meta that we've seen um, in this year's game. Now, if you notice where players are going, this is the one variable that I think is really interesting uh, to talk about. Our outside guy is going to the right side. Our slot receiver gauge is going in, and then that inside trips receiver is actually staying where he currently is. So that also can you know kind of provide some context for things, but. This play is so good because you have a high low on the right side. Um, if they run cover two, this is gonna, this is a cover two killer. So a lot of people actually, ironically, like to run you know cover two, especially if they're trying to run cover two Mabel or something like that, where they're having those deep zone drops. This play just crucifies that coverage. Um, cover two Mabel cannot be ran against this play. They have to have a third or a quarter, uh, but the problem is if they have a third or a quarter over on that right side, uh, what we just showed you, whereas if they press this third, um, this can be problematic. You'll see right here, a lot of times these thirds, they struggle to get over the top of this corner route, right? So you have that as well. So now they're kind of back, we're backing them into the corner of, we're going to quick snap this play and you got to be ready for this. So you're going to leave your cover three off coverage. Well, what that's going to then do is leave this guy over the middle for an ag, you know, over the middle of the field. So there's a lot we can do with this play. I think it's just a great play to audible into. This is also a man to man killer. Tight in general is really good against man coverage. Um, and this play specifically is probably the best man beater in the game because you have um, with the corner route that we put on the left, we now have the ability to beat man on the left, the right, the middle, and over the top. Um, for example, something that we've been seeing a lot of 
is basically just a variation. I'm going to put two deep halves out here. A variation of shaded underneath man coverage. This is something a lot of people like to do to try to stop uh, wheel routes and ags. Again, they may think you're going to bunch to throw the vertical's wheel. So, you know, you go to the, something like this, and now all of a sudden this isn't bunch verticals, but it's actually a play that's designed to really cook this shaded underneath meta as you can see right there that's cameron Brait, and he's going against sean murphy buntling who's one of the best man-to-man -man corners uh or not best man-to-man -man corners but he's just very fast right so he's gonna so you see here if i go to bunch it's it's it, it doesn't you know again the, the tell might be the running backs on the right or whatever but you see how fast it is to audible into this formation that's the main thing i want to get across and then this corner run on the left side because it's a hot route master corner it's actually pretty decent against man-to-man -man. Um, if you have short and elite on this guy, which you probably will, just kind of judging by, you know, even if you're running trips, you're probably going to have short and elite on that specific receiver. And then the other route that's really good against man coverage is this crosser. And then this corner route just absolutely roasts man coverage, as you can see right there. So this play has so much power, um, and it's one of the best plays in the game to just quickly audible to and snap the ball. And tight has that all over the place. If you look here at slot post, same basic thing. I can literally put one hot route and snap the ball. I'm just going to streak this guy. We're going to spam hike, and we're going to go. And as you can see here, there's just so much open. So tight is just a great formation. And if you want to learn how to run it at a really high level, make sure you're on our Patreon. That's where you get all the eBooks, where you get all the updates, everything. If you want to get in there, it's only 10 bucks. You'll get 18 offensive and defensive eBooks if you join today. And there's a ton more on the way as well. So make sure you're in the Patreon. That way you get access to all of that material. Thank you for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below and click the link down below.